Hello, this is Margaret Munoz with some thoughts about tapping and creativity. Well, I don't know about you, but I never knew a two-year-old who threw down their crayons and said, I can't draw. They're far too busy making their mark wherever they can. In fact, I still have a vivid memory of my own daughter uh, creating wonderful art on the walls and the carpet with my lipstick. <laughs> And imagination runs riot. You know, I'm a pirate. I'm riding an elephant. It's a spaceship. The dolls are having tea. And then the adults weigh in. And before you know it, you find yourself judging that you're not creative. In fact, you may have lost sight of the fact that you're a creative being or, or judge that you're not creative because you're not artistic. I made that mistake uh, many years ago, but uh, it's long since been rectified. Creativity is an integral uh, and vitally important part of your, your life. Creativity is about experimenting, inventing, breaking the rules, having fun, doing something different, taking risks. Uh, Creative intelligence gave birth to you and to the world around you. And so your task is to get back into alignment with this creative energy. In essence, it's a spiritual journey. And the wonderful thing is that tapping can help you get back into that alignment and regain connection with what you've lost. As always, a really good place to start is to tap on that inner critic that makes it so hard for your creativity to flow and flourish. So really have a have a thing. What's what's going on in your head? And you get it down, like write a list on your to tap on. So here are some starters. You could just start off saying, I'm not creative. I'm not gifted enough. I'm not original enough. I don't have a creative bone in my body. Everybody else seems to be more creative than I am. I never come up with great ideas. What I do isn't up to much. I could never earn my living from whatever it is you, you want to do. So really have a think about this. How else do you keep yourself stuck with, with criticism and self-doubt? You could, of course, always tap on, even though I'm my own worst critic, uh, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Because that's, that's the truth, isn't it, most of the time? And then you can tap around, I'm my own worst critic. I'm filled with self-doubt. I sabotage my creativity. I ignore or deny my creativity. I procrastinate in expressing myself. It's really important to, to, to get the inner critic tapped on first of all. As children, we're all creative. The problem is, as I said originally, is that our creativity gets squashed along the way and oftentimes our self-esteem with it. Others may have shamed us in the past and it can be feel really unsafe to put our ideas and our work forward. So it's really important to tap on these past events. I, I find one of the main ones is, even though my teacher said... Uh, whatever it can be a really big issue uh, I was put down for being different I was laughed at uh, my parents discouraged me from pursuing a creative or artistic career I was criticized for my creativity uh, I was shamed as a child whatever it was it's uh, think about you know, incidents that might have happened, or rather that did happen to you. And, uh, and really see if you can tap 
around those. It's so worthwhile to let them go and you'll free up all, all this energy for expressing yourself. Then of course to, to be creative we need to be connected with ourselves so we can do a bit of tapping on even though I'm disconnected from my inner uh, self or even though I'm disconnected from my creativity or, or my inner wisdom. So we have to give ourselves the time and the environment in which to nurture our creativity. The best ideas were not often are not often found sitting at a desk. Newton was under a tree and by all accounts Einstein was in the bath when they came up with their big ideas. So so we can uh, both tap on on the negative uh, even though I don't give myself time, uh, I don't nurture my creativity, uh, I don't replenish myself, I don't give um, myself time to play and have fun. And you can also tap in the, the positives of that. I choose to give myself time, I choose to, to be more nurturing of my creativity. You can also stimulate your creativity by asking yourself questions. Uh, some good ones might be, uh, how can I do this differently? Uh, how can I do this in an easier way? What would make the biggest difference here? What's a new perspective on this? What am I overlooking? Those are just a few questions that you can ask yourself. What I suggest you also do is to do something that you've never done before. Uh, the opportunities are endless and if you don't like what you do, you don't have to do it again. Uh, I've tried numerous different things from um, abseiling to calligraphy to horse riding to drumming to African dancing to white water rafting, which is didgeridoo playing. <laughs> Uh, I have the utmost respect for didgeridoo players. I was absolutely hopeless, but I love exploring new worlds. So give yourself the gift of going and do something that perhaps you've always wanted to do, but never tried, or maybe something that you've just dreamt up. So enjoy doing that. And please join me in the next video because I'll be doing some tapping on uh, choices with you for uh, increasing your creativity. So I'd love you to, to tap along with me uh, in that. See you soon. Bye.